In this video we're going to look at three things. We're going to look at links, we're going to look at lists, and we're going to look at images. Okay, so I've uh, created a little story using all the different tags that we looked at in the last video. There's nothing here uh, which I haven't already shown you uh, how to do. And so you can see I've got my um, main title of the story that I made. I've got a little bit of a subtitle which is just a paragraph uh, with the strong tag so it's bold uh, and then I've got uh, chapter one <coughs> I've got a little bit of information about chapter one which is in uh, italics using the EM tag um, and then I've got part one uh, where we meet um, Hawkins the rookie pilot uh, and uh, Johnson who's a little bit a little bit older uh, and then uh, I've got some headings for uh, part two uh, chapter two and so on and so forth so it's not complete yet but it doesn't doesn't need to be right now okay um, <coughs> so what I want to do is I've explained to the reader that this is about interstellar war all right but the reader might want to find out a little bit more information about interstellar war so I want to make that interstellar war a link um, to the Wikipedia page about interstellar war now the way that it's going to work, uh, I will show you an example of how to add links to other pages on the website, and then I'll show you how we can get the uh, the words interstellar war to link to a specific page. Let's say, for instance, I want to put a link to um, google.com. Okay, I can say A, for that is the tag that I'm using. There's a little bit that we need to do before we close the tag like that. Inside the opening part of the tag we need to add something called an attribute and that attribute is href. That tells us the website that we're going to go to. Um, we're going to go to www.google.com. Now notice I haven't just um, put www.google.com I've got to put the full web address if you're not sure what the full web address um, is it usually starts HTTP or HTTPS but if you go to the website you can select uh, the address from your browser and you can copy and paste that I'll show you in more detail in a sec so at the moment um, you'll notice I've added this link but nothing's appeared on the page that's because the only stuff that actually appears on the page is the stuff that goes in between this opening tag here and the closing tag so uh, if I write search in there and actually spell it right um, you can see there is now a link here which will take us to google.com okay if I click on that you can see it's taken us to Google dot com okay now the important thing to remember is you can put whatever you want inside the um, a tag okay it doesn't have to just be a single word you can put a whole bunch of stuff you can put spaces um, I could put search the internet for instance and you notice that that entire thing is a uh, is a link anything that's in between the opening a tag and the closing a tag is going to be the link href tells us where we're going it really is that simple okay so let's say for instance I want to make the words interstellar war link to the Wikipedia page about interstellar war I go to the Wikipedia page for interstellar war and you can see there it is um, if you click on the um, address at the top you should be able to select all of that copy that either by right clicking and selecting copy or just pressing control and C and then you can create your a tag so here's my a tag and remember we need that attribute href equals and then in quote marks I can paste using control V or right clicking and pasting close the quote marks and making sure that the words interstellar war go in between uh, the opening and closing a tags if I now go back to my web page you can see the words interstellar war are now a link 
to the Google page, uh, sorry, the Wikipedia page on the Interstellar War. Okay, it's pretty straightforward, but it's worth pausing the video and just uh, trying it out with a couple of different links. Okay, so go to whatever web page you want to link to, make sure that you've copied the uh, web address here. Uh, you want to open your A tag with A href. Remember, you're opening the tag here, you're closing the first part of the tag after the href. Okay, so if your code's not working for any reason, make sure that you've got it written out exactly as you see here. Okay, I'm just going to go back to my web page. I'm going to get rid of that search the internet link there. Okay, so we've now got. Um, a page that links to another page on the internet. But we can also do some fun things um, with links to make them link to different parts of our web page. Okay, so instead of linking to a different page on the internet, we can have it link to different parts of our story. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So we are going to have in here, we're going to have a link to chapter one, um, we're going to have a link to chapter two. And we're going to have a link to chapter 3. Now, I've written them out on separate lines here, but you can see in the actual web page they appear all next to each other. We're going to make them into a bullet point list. And the way that we do that is by using the UL tag. UL stands for Unordered List. So we open the UL tag. We're going to close the UL tag down here. Now the thing is, the UL tag on its own doesn't actually do much. It just says we're going to create this bullet point list. Now every item inside the UL tag needs to um, be enclosed in LI tags. Okay, so LI stands for list item. To make it easier to see what's going on, I'm going to I will add them in here so you can see how that looks. There's my first item, okay, and you can see it's already added that bullet point in my live um, update window here. Here's my second list item. Uh, it would help if I actually typed in the correct uh, letters there, and let's close that. Uh, and then finally, Okay, so you can add as many of those things, as many as those list items as you want. I'll just separate that so it's a little bit easier for you to see. There's my unordered list. Okay, it's all automatically puts the bullet points in there for each list item. Now, let's say for instance, uh, I mean this is going to be a bad example here, but if you wanted, instead of bullet points there, you wanted them to be numbered, one, two, three, you could change that UL to an OL, okay? And you can see it's automatically numbered them. I don't have to number them here, it automatically does it for me, okay? OL stands for ordered list. So if you want bullet points, use UL, and if you want... Um, uh, numbered lists you can use OL. Another cool thing that you can do is this. Let's say for instance um, inside my uh, chapter one um, list item I wanted to have another um, sublist. So I could have something taking me to uh, part one like that, and another thing taking me to um, part two, like that. See how that works? Okay, so inside inside this list item, yeah, we've got another complete list with its own list items, and you can see how that's indented them there, so you can build up these hierarchical lists. Okay, for the purposes of this, I'm just going to use um, the chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three. So I'm going to get rid of that internal list there. Um, but you can have a play around with that um, and try it out. Pause the video, rewind the video, uh, test it out for yourself. 
Okay, that's all well and good having these bullet points in here, but we want to actually get some links in there. Now there's a couple of things that we need to do to get it set up. First of all, my chapter one link is going to link down to my chapter one heading. My chapter two link is going to link down to my chapter two heading, okay, and so on and so forth. But we need to give them an ID. Okay, so H2, I'm going to, inside the opening H2 for my chapter one heading, I am going to say ID equals uh, chapter one, like that. No spaces in there, okay? And then I'm going to do something similar down here for um, chapter two. ID equals chapter two. And then here's chapter three, ID equals uh, chapter three. Okay, so now I've got some IDs. That means I can link specifically to these bits in my web page. Now the way that I do it, I still use the A tag and I still have to say href, right? But instead of putting a full web address, I just do this. Open the quote marks, put the hash symbol, and then the name of the ID you want to link to. So the first one that we're linking to is chapter one. Okay, and then make sure that those the closing A tag goes around the outside of the word that you want to be the link. Okay, so now if I click on that chapter one link, it takes me down to chapter one. Okay. And I can do the same thing here. I'm just going to copy that code and paste it down there, change that to chapter two. Got to remember to close the A tag as well. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing down here. That's going to go to chapter three. Uh, and again, got to remember to close the A tag. Okay, so now I've got three links. If I click on chapter one, it takes me to uh, chapter one. If I click on chapter two, it takes me all the way down to chapter two. And if I click on chapter three, it will take me all the way down to chapter three as well. Now, bear in mind that you know my web page isn't complete, so it might not look um, like it's going all the way down there. But trust me on this one. Okay, so this is going to all of the different IDs. Now it might be that um, at each um, chapter you want to have something that takes you back to the top. So maybe underneath here we might have something uh, which is, let's put it on the end here. Um, A href equals. Now we need to. We want to go back to the top of the page, right? Um, I haven't actually created this ID yet. Back to top. Okay. I've added the link in there. At the moment, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, but if we put h1, if we put uh, ID equals top like that. Um, making sure that we've got a, um, the hash symbol in front there. In theory, if we click on back to top now, it will take us back to the top. So here's my chapter one. I click back to top and it takes me back to the top of the page. Okay, so that's something that you can play around with. You can add a link to an external web page. Here's the, uh, here's the example here. You can add links to different places within your own web page. Now remember, you've got to have the a href equals, and you've got to also set up the ID inside whatever tag you want to link to. Now I've used h2 tags. It doesn't have to be h2 though. You can use whatever, um, whatever tags you want. Okay, now, I am going to put an image in here. It's going to be the last part of this video. Um, and I want to show you how this is actually going to work. So um, I have already found an image. I hope I've already found an image. There we go. Um, I'm going to save this image. So right click, 
save image as and I'm going to download it into my HTML lessons um, tutorial folder at the moment the file name is a little bit rubbish uh, it doesn't make much sense so I'm going to call that uh, battle uh, battle dot jpg save that okay and you'll notice if you've done it right the image should appear here in brackets and you can have a look at it and see what it looks like okay so let's see how we get this into our um, web page now you've got to save it in the same folder that your web page is in okay so if your image doesn't appear in your list of things at the side here in brackets you've probably saved it in the wrong place Okay, in order to get that file into the uh, web page, this is what you do. You use IMG. IMG is short for image, and then you have to specify where the image is, and for that we say SRC. SRC is short for source. So we say image source equals, and then if you've saved it in the right place, brackets is smart enough to find all of the things that you might want to specify. So battle.jpg is the one that I want. Just going to hit enter and it will automatically add it in there for me okay make sure that you close the tag now the image tag is a weird one because it doesn't have a separate opening and closing tag it's just image source equals and then that's the that's the thing okay um, you've got to make sure that the um, uh, the spelling is exactly the same you've got to have the full file extension if you've got the file saved in your folder brackets will sort all of that out for you okay so if we now go back to my web page you can see right where I stuck it all the way down the bottom as soon as it says it's gonna get rough there's my image okay maybe the image is a little bit bigger uh, than we want it to be but in a future video we will look at how we can we can resize that okay um, now there's one other thing to add about the um, uh, about the image here um, and that some people browse the internet without images turned on right so in order to help those people out we can give a description of what the image looks like so inside the image tag after source you can put alt alt is short for alternative text so in the uh, in the quote marks after alt equals just write an, uh, a description an explanation of what the picture is I'm just gonna write a space battle you can put anything you want in there okay so now we've got our image it tells us what the source of the image is and it tells us uh, a little description of the image there okay and that's that now there's a couple of projects that you can do with all of this information I appreciate that there's things that you might want to be doing right now like changing the colors and stuff like that but don't worry we'll get to that okay all of the stuff that you now know will allow you to create web pages which are just as good as web pages that were created back in the early days of the web and some things that you could create include uh, an online photo album so you could get photos up there you could um, have um, descriptions of those photos and you could have an index of those photos at the top something similar to what we've got here um, you could do a sports report or a piece of online journalism so you could write a, uh, a, a news report a sports report you could get some photos in there detailing what's going on there and another thing that you might want to try is a very simple adventure game okay now in order to do that you're gonna need to have more than one uh, page okay um, I will quickly show you how to uh, link to a separate page uh, if you go to file and then you go to new it will create a new uh, web page for you right when you got to save it I'm gonna call that file save as and I'm going to call it page two dot HTML it's got to be dot HTML so now I've got this file page two dot HTML okay now if I want to link to that page all I have to do is this a href equals and then I just put the name of the new page that I created in there okay let's link to 
page to. When I click it, it's just going to take me to a blank page. Okay, there's my blank page because obviously I haven't actually added anything to my page to there. Okay, so if you wanted to try and create a sort of adventure game where you have a description of where you are um, and maybe a picture of where you are and then you've got options, you know, do you want to take the left hand door, do you want to take the right hand door and it takes you to a different, um, uh, takes you to a different um, screen. Uh, that's something else that you can try and you will be able to do just with the HTML tags uh, that I have uh, that I've taught you so far okay in future videos we are going to have a look at tables uh, we're going to have a look at um, layers as well we'll have a look at the grid layout and we'll have a look at how we can um, uh, change things like the fonts and the colors. Okay.